Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Enshrouded. I'm your host, Colors Fate. It's episode 7. We have many quests to do, so we're just going to pick one. One last journey. Sick patient journeyed from Woodguard to an ancient obelisk in the Springlands. So we're going to do that. It's over here. Story of fire. Kind of have to go out from here and then up. We have to go in that direction. Not sure what the way's easiest way to get it over there is. You have to go through the shroud. So we're just gonna pick some stuff along the way here. This is always a good way to get plant fiber. It's another perk of being out here in this particular setting. Okay, so up there. Oh geez. Uh oh, I did the wrong thing. How do we get that corn? Oh, you knucklehead. Okay, put this here. All right. I took the, the other wand that I had, the blue wand. I can't remember what blue is because this it's rare. So this was epic. So remember last episode, we grabbed an extra scorching wand. So I just upgraded it to be the same as the other one. And the thing I like about having weapons in those same slots is if you alt over and you're in the same slot, you have a wand in both positions, so. We'll grab all this stuff. These wands are so darn effective. And we'll go this way. That guy's over there. We have a shroud here. I don't know if we can get out of the shroud easily from there, can we? We kind of need to go over and around this way. Okay, let's go that way. go around this little road over here should get us there we have the small backpack pin but we don't need to bees don't need those bees Here they come down, they fall down. Very nice. Okay, this direction, this is the way we want to go. I think it gets us what we need, which is elevation. It keeps us out of the shroud because there's a road right over there you can see. But right next to the road, under the brown tree, we used up a bunch of resin making torches. Give ourselves some light. This is one of the things I really like about the game. It's very relaxing this way. Reminds me so much of No Man's Sky. It's like if you just play the game and relax. Don't try to worry about objectives too much. Just make your way somewhere and as you're going collect things that you need for later. Everything has a tendency to work itself out. A minute there, I thought there was a beehive on the side of that tree. I love games like this because my son is one of those players who, when he starts a new game, he immediately goes to the internet and looks for a looks at everything up ahead of time and then tries to like beeline to certain things like, oh, I want this weapon, so I'm going to beeline to it, which we did with the Wailing Blade because it's really close. But he'll try to do that for the whole game. He did that with Fallout 3. He kept telling me, I'm going to go get this gun and this gun and this thing and that thing. And I'm like, dude, if you just play the game, all that stuff will naturally come to you. He's like, no, I want to go get it first. And, and uh, that's just kind of the way he is. And I'm much more of a 
just play the game and let things come to me in the order that they're naturally supposed to come as long as the game has been well designed and this is a perfect example of that this game is so well designed so far in early access what they released that if you just play the game and follow the quests you can get all the things that you want and need so where are we going it's in that direction and there's a bunny ragged and there's a house up here and of course it has this great thing that games like fallout 4 and skyrim had bethesda titles really where as you're trying to do one thing you will get distracted by something else and here we are we're going to get distracted by peaceful acres looks very peaceful Very peaceful. I do need to collect bones. So now we got some... I burped, so I had to get rid of that. I do need to collect bone, because we're going to need bone meal for making things down the road. So What is over here is a little tiny building. I don't know what's in here. I'm guessing there's a chest in here. We're going to find out. Oh, there's a bunch of shrooms. Oh, you can't do that. Okay. Oh, I just hopped my way up in there. Oh, amazing. I was thinking, wow, okay. What if I do this? That got us out of there. Oh, there's just stuff in here. I thought there'd be a chest. There's not, but let's see about... Is this metal? Yes, it is. I need the metal scraps. Okay, great. We don't need the rubble, though. Or the fur patches, but we do need metal scraps. Well, let's go in here and see what's inside the house, shall we? Looks like a nice place. I see you. You're caught in the wall. But now you're dead. There's water. And there's string. He's dead. Well, this is an elaborate little house here because there's... Yeah, stairs through there. Okay. Upstairs, more string. And a chest. Yay. What's in here? And a little chest here with a lockpick. It's a funny thing how the lid opens right away. And then it closes again. Well, it's working the lot. I think they'll probably sort that out. Masterful mace, don't care about it. I'm gonna salvage that. All right. And another piece of water over here. And that looks me metallic. Anything that looks like it's metal, baby. Like the chest. Can we? I get a feeling that you can't beat these chests very easy. Yeah, I don't think you can usually beat them in a... I mean, maybe you could. Everything in the game seems to be destructible, but... Okay. Well, that was a nice little stop. Oh, and you know what else we need more of? These shroud things. Whoa, backpack full. Okay, let's, what's the corn do for us? Plus one strength? Oh, nice. Okay, let's get rid of that one. So 
if I want some of those things, I'm going to have to get rid of something else. Hmm. I need a fire so I can cook this meat. Then it would stack over here. I have tons of purple berries. Tons of them. But right now, I'm going to do that so I can do this. This may be unwise. All right, what's down the road here, baby? Oh, let's see. Can we make more arrows? Yay. Oh, and we have another one of these. Give me resin. Which it did. I'm hopeful that nobody can hear this through the microphone, but my neighbors have the most annoying dog. And it has decided that it's going... They've started leaving it outside. So now it barks all day. And I'm just going to have to call animal control on them. Because there's just... I work from home, people. I shouldn't have to be subjected to this noise all day. I just, I, I mean, there's so many reasons that I'm not a dog person. And one of the biggest reasons is because I'm just not a fan of the people who own dogs. I'm not a fan of the way they treat their animals, and I'm not a fan of the way they subject everybody else around them to their dogs. They're, they're, it's just like religious people. I mean, it's like, it's not enough for them to be religious. They have to cram it down your throat, too. And convert you and tell you that you're going to hell if you don't convert. And dog people are like that too. It's like, I love my dog so much, you're going to love it too. It's like, mm. I, I don't like your dog. And I, that barking noise is really hurting my ears. The obelisk. In a world destined for ruin, humanity will fade, as all beings do. Their light will flicker and die untouched by the eternal flame, meaningless and minuscule in the face of near-endless insight burning brightly, turning to dust as we turn to fire, an endless cycle of ruin and turmoil. And there's the Wanderer's Boots. Plus two stamina regeneration. I like the sounds of that. But now I have to get rid of something. This is a bandage. Why are you not stacked over there? <laughs> Alright, so what we can do with that is... Yeah, these are just regular old boots. We'll take these. <laughs> Stamina regeneration, I love it. There we go. Excellent. Okay. And there's a beehive over here. And a mushroom over here. Excellent. Well, now what's left on... What's next on the quest list? There's these quests. Oswald and her chest, which is really, really far to the north. There's the hidden tombs here. A story of rot. Where is that one at? It's way up here too. So all this stuff is closer to... As we move into this area, this is Revelwood over here. We do want to be here. We want to go for this. A story of rot, actually. That's what we want to do. And the reason is because one of the building blocks that we need to help rebuild all of these different places that we see around here, they all are comprised of the three main elements. They're comprised of what's called, uh, let's see here. It's called a half timber block, which is the walls. 
and those you get from a chest in Diadwin, which is uh, west southwest of the Revelwood Spire. So it's like up in here somewhere. And the rough cut stone blocks are all of the floors and, and stone walls, like in my basement place. And that you get from Netherton, which is east of the ancient Springland Spire. And it's actually east northeast and it's south of an obelisk and it's south of this obelisk. So it's really it's right here. So we want to try to go there. So let's go back to camp. So we can drop off all our stuff. So I'm going to drop off all my goods here. And then we're going to get prepped to go out. We are back and we're ready to go. We're going to try to get all the way over to there. We're going to have to start with this spire here, probably. Unless this spire affords us a better opportunity to get there. I don't think so. I think the elevation part that you want is over in this direction. So we're going to want to go east by northeast over here. Let's take a look at what this looks like. Yep, you're going to want to go that way and cross that shroud over there and end up somewhere over there by that mountain peak, really. Well, let's see if we can do it. Let's give ourselves a little bit of food, give ourselves a little bit of regeneration, and let's take off. There's a house on the edge over there. Fun. And there is this. The flame shrine. So we'll collect that spark. Okay, looks like a very short amount of shroud to cross here. Provided this isn't some kind of wall that we can't get up. Which it looks like this is right where we want to be. Right here. While we're here, let's just gather all this. You, you little turkeys, you little bugs. All right, up and out. Chance at some resin here. Oh, bees. Like, we see you coming. Oh, we should just do the whole thing, shouldn't we? One round and there you go. Poochness. There we go. And we have some kind of fort here. The Hill of Scavengers. Oh. Well. Hill of Scavengers. I guess if we want to proceed any further, we're going to have to get by these losers first. Unless there's a chance to go around. Ooh. It's going to be dark soon, so I wonder if the Hill of Scavengers has a place where we can lay down. Ooh, look at those guys. Ooh. 
Oh, you moved, you son of a gun. There we go. Yeah, that took some of them out. That's a lot of dead doggies. Man. Lots of deceased Pucherinos. Okay. What does this place look like? Hill of Scavengers. Oh, there's a big fire there. I think we're going to have a boss mob to fight. Hmm. And it's going to be dark. Definitely shoot in the air. That's really helpful. I like it when they shoot on themselves. That's nice. How you doing there? Get yourself. These guys are cool. I like them. Yes, I see you. We have a chest. Uh oh, scavenger Gorgon Matron. Oh no. She's up top. I can hear her. Mysterious flask. Those are nice against the Gorgon Matron. A hunter's bow can be better salvaged by us. She's, I can hear her moving around up there and I don't like that. It's making me nervous, but I don't think she'll come down here until we engage her, so. And I think we need her head to upgrade the flame next. The Gorger. We are captive three these days now. Weak, struggling with no food or water. This may very well be my last testament. But the scavengers are creating new horrors that I cannot unsee. Scavenger queens, who've grown fat with gluttony, are turning the dark laboratory in this encampment on themselves by infusing massive amounts of elixir straight into their hearts. These Gorgers will spit poison and lob vials of corrupted elixir at their prey. Avoid them at all costs. If I do not survive here, consider yourself warned. I consider myself warned when aiming this metal. Okay. Do you think there might be... Okay, cool. There's a place to repair my equipment. That's nice. Okay, you coming? The dance of death for you, buddy. not quite sure what to do there. Alright, those guys are dead. Oops, raw meat is like, nope, not gonna happen. Metal scraps, here we go. You're dead. Here comes this guy. Okay. 
Okay, he's dead. What am I picking up here? Need that. Can't get scrap arrows. How quickly we used all of our... <laughs> all of our stuff. Um, hmm, is there anything I want to get rid of? Can, too bad you can't cook around these big fires. Okay, we've got this. This is what I was looking for. A place to sleep. And a mana potion. Great. The sun is up. What's over here? Oh, more repair station. That's nice. Metal scraps. That's what these camps are great for. It's all the metal scraps. Which we desperately need. Okay. Fat Matron is up there. You can see her wandering around. Well, are we in a position to sh to take her on yet? Are we strong enough to do that? Because I'm not so sure. We can get our butts kicked here real easy. Let's go around this way. Let's try to clear this area of... Oh, no! God, I saw that. Good trap, dude. Good trap. I gotta hand it to you. That was a good trap. That was very good. And right in the middle of looting, and they hit me with that. Gotta, you gotta give them props when they're... when they do their job well. Is there an easy way to get up here? Yeah. There is. I don't need the fur, so that's fine. Oh, look. There you are. Can't quite get there. Yeah, but I got something for you. You want you want this? You want a piece of me? Uh oh, you're stuck in there now. Look at you. There's a really nice ability you can get later on that will give you a fifty percent chance to shoot two bolts out of a wand instead of one and it really makes wands even more effective which is really nice in fact what are we looking at here we have we only have the three so we still can't get evasion attack yeah so this is the way we came in there's a fire over there she's up that ramp we can try and fight her Different ways here. Different tactics. There's a chest here. One way you can try and fight her is to try to create a hole that she can fall into. Which bombs are really good for. Where's that one coming from? Where are you, turkey bird? Where is the fatty princess? There she is. I need to be ready. Let's do this. How long does this last for? Quite a while. Okay. Good. We need the elixir buff. And then what else? 
else do we have that can really help? Intelligence. Mm, okay. Gosh darn it. There you go. How effective is that? Okay. I'm gonna come wandering out here. I should be shooting her. Because the, the wand was... This was pretty effective. She's gonna... If she gets a hold of me, I'm absolutely dead. Maybe. Yep, yeah, because you can't let her do that. Come on, darling, where are you? You gonna try to walk up here? Okay. There she is. She died in a heap of orange goo. We're full. Let's do more arrows. Then we can get rid of these twigs. Then we can grab what she's got. Metal scraps. Scavenger matron head and a crackling wand. Oh man. Let's see. Let's get rid of let's get rid of these because these offer um when they're cooked they offer two constitution instead of one which is what the rabbits do so that crackling wand let's compare it to what we have crackling wand here does 20 damage plus two mono regeneration all right these have plus two mono regeneration 250 durability 11 percent chance at a crit those two, yeah, so it's not as good. Just salvage it. We got better wands. The most important thing, though, is we got our head. Nobody here? That's a Christmas miracle. Another explosive powder ball. Got some stuff here. That chair right there is nice comfort. <laughs> When you can finally make one in your place. Whoa, there. Who did that? Where'd that person come from? Or is that just... A, is that not somebody shooting that? That's just a... Like a booby trap? That must be what that is. Okay. I understand now. It's a booby trap. And here we go. What do you got for me, gold chest? A hatchet. Oh, boo. Oh, I've got that many. Wow, that's nice. Let's get rid of the flint arrows. And then we can do this. The hatchet is 20 damage. We still have better weapons, so best to salvage that. Okay. Well, this wasn't what we came here to do. We were on our way somewhere else, but... Since we're here, give me those pieces. Give them to me. Oh, did it fall through or something like that? Oh, bummer. Okay, that's all right. What's over here? Loot? What is that? Explosive powder ball. Oh, nice. Okay, so where we were headed was over here. To the east in that direction and Juliet let's go down here all right that direction onward 
We got a lot of explosive balls. And there's a road over here. Well, fancy that. Do we have twigs? No, so we can't collect anymore. Okay. We gotta be careful about what we're gonna collect here. That looks fancy. We're gonna want to come back there. That is what? Does it show up on the map here? This is, this is what's this show up as? Come on, show up. What's it say? Miss Bray Catacombs. Okay, well. Would like to come back and do that. Oh, I remember this. These guys are always down here fighting. Tagged him right in the back. And now he's going to be slow. Oh, he doesn't like fire. That was very effective. We like that. And he killed this poor sap over here. And this one. And now we'll go this way. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. What is that up there? Is that the obelisk up there? I think that might be in the right direction. It would be pretty cool if it was. Oh, I gotta check something real quick. Sorry about that. Yeah, so is this gonna get us all the way up on top of this place? And we'll find the obelisk first. That's what we want to do. Oh, the switchback. A whole bunch of that right there. Flintstone. Brad and Wilma. Getting it done. Oh, look at this. Yeah, you're going to heal, but guess what? You're going to be too dead to heal. Oh, and then you're there. You're going to be too dead to heal. There we go. Flame Sanctum, baby. There's a nice little boon here. You got to have room for it, but you get the blessing. Well, I guess you don't have to have room for it. Oh yeah, you do, because my food just went away, didn't it? But you gotta have a slot available for it. Ooh, they have always got pelts laying around, these folks. Lots of them. So if you want them, good place to get them. They have a campfire. Can I cook at this one? No, I cannot. more of their pelts we got a respawn place and we got this but we need a slot for oh we have some we've already acquired one so there we go we got a spark we got a spark and a boon now we gotta go that way may have to do some rock climbing Yeah, because we're going to want to be up on top, aren't we? Okay. I think we want to go up and over. So where are we? We're right here, and we want to go in this direction. And we're going to have to climb up here to get over here. I think. Okay. Can we go around? Not really. I think the easiest thing to do is break out the climber. Backpack is full, which makes this easier. Let's 
do some stamina regen. So this is the easiest way I've found to do a lot of this stuff. Okay. Now what do we have? Oh, okay. We're going to have to climb quite a ways to get up there. Look at that rabbit up there taunting us. Not quite. Oh, oh, it's kind of close. Okay, let's see what we can build here. We only have the one pickaxe, so... We may not be able to do quite what I'm hoping to do. You want a shot of my butt, everybody? There's a butt. Nice butt for you. It's a lot better than mine. You gotta be able to carve enough of a indentation there to stand up in. Oh. We didn't correctly do that. I always recommend having two pickaxes on you when you can start making the fancy pickaxes. Because they have much better durability and this is not going to get it done. Not going to get it done. Food type already active. Oh, okay. Cool. Grass! That's always what we're looking for. Don't care if my backpack's full. Just care about being able to get up here. Alright, so we're here. We're close. Boy, I can't tell you how many hours I spent hiking with my dad as a kid because he was a bow hunter. Therefore, I was too. And the number of times you would see, you know, the, the cusp of the top of a mountain and think, oh, we're almost there. And then you're not like right here. It's like, oh, no, we're not there. But can we can we get over there from that side? That'd be great. red yeah that's not really going to get it done is it what you're looking for here is a chance to use your hang glider to get over to that other ledge but if you don't have a flat enough surface it won't stick see okay let's go back to here we need more of this it's not going to happen, is it? Nope. <laughs> Son of a gun. Okay. Well. Oh, and there it is. Oh, no, I can't. That's a building beyond. Okay. Well. Oh. Not quite. Oh, we're going to fall all the way down, aren't we? Okay. Just going to wait here, buddy. So that was a lot of work for... Not the benefit we wanted. Yikes. Sometimes you can get lucky like that. Okay. We're up on top of something.
this side hill here and we're kind of close. Maybe. Where is it? Where is it? Is it down there? Where's the obelisk, though? Is that what this is? Go to journal. Story of Ra. Yeah, it's down there. Oh, no, it's over there. Okay. Straight east. Wow, okay. Not quite where I thought it was going to be then. Show me where you are. Oh, there it is. I see it. It's over there by that little encampment. Well, that's nice then. We didn't have to climb all the way up on top of that thing. Let's check out what's here. Ancient Obelisk says... Unforeseen humanity is ephemeral. Nothing but a brief moment in time, a breath long taken, the blink of an eye. Yet despite their mortal nature, they have created fire, a flame of their own to brighten their impending dawn. Okay, oh, look at you. Oh, you sucker. Okay, I'm going to switch something around here. I never use the second weapon, so I'm going to go like this. That way I can, for now, I can use my bow. Let's see. Switch over to this then. Come at me, bro. Okay, I can't. I don't have any room for sparkles? Oh no, no. I need to find a place to cook that meat. Okay, let's see. There's going to be something down here. Indeed, the obelisk shares the same markings as the ones we've studied in the Kindle Wastes. This indicates a formal writing system consisting of logograms and syllabi, validating my hypothesis. Certain lexographs are repeated, hinting at a thematic consensus. Alternatively, a limited vocabulary. However, I see unique signs compared to Eastern obelisks. A dialect? As per usual, I cannot decipher the language. I am disappointed, but not surprised. Well, Lorraine. Okay, this thing right here. Oh my gosh, get that off my screen. I can't loot that? Am, am I really full of those? No, I'm not. What, what is it saying that I can't loot? Okay, it's not saying that's metal scraps. Is that metal scraps right here? Alright, if that's what you're saying. Okay, so this obelisk here is the key. We've reached this obelisk. It's very nice. But it is not the end all be all. Down here, we should see that. There you go. Right there. That's our whole goal this episode. That is one of the important blocks that we need so that we can rebuild. So I'm going to need to get down there and then get out. Can we get out by going which direction? Southwest? It looks like it. So if we go southwest, shwink. We can get out. I like that plan. Okay. Fly right down there. All right. Let's do a little bit of precautionary stuff here. We got to get rid of something. We got to have 20 bones. Trees are easy to come by. Trees are really easy to come by. So is string because we have enough plant stuff. So let's do this. We're going to delete that string. Then we're going to say, what is this? Red mushroom intelligence. Mm. I've got plenty of mushrooms. Let's delete that. This is spirit. We don't really need that. We just need this. Shroud survival flask. 
We don't have any more food to help us. Okay, my friend. Nail this on the first try, will you please? There we go. The roughly cut stone block, that is the base of of uh, all things with those buildings. So let's get out of here. Bye, gentlemen. Just gonna leave you behind and find the road. Are, are we collecting? Yes, we're collecting those, okay. Since we're collecting them, might as well grab more. There we go. Grab the things that we can collect on the way out. Until the stack gets full and it tells us we can no longer grab them. It's all balls and dicks, man, right there. Doink. Doink. Excellent. And a honeycomb. All right, since we're out, we're going to get this. Oh, what's over there? Is that a flame shrine? It's not. Come on, buddy. I will take more of that for sure. Can't turn. Happens after looting. Where are these guys? I saw some wolves over here. But they are gone now. Okay. I figure since we're here. We still have mushrooms? No, we got those. Okay, we got rid of those. And there's a tree up here and a tree over there. It's gonna be a wolf den. Lots of resin out of that tree, that's nice. One of the things that drives me nuts about games that allow people to jump in is when you're watching people play them online and they'll do this. They'll just be jumping everywhere and it drives me so bonkers. I can't watch it. I watch five seconds of that and I'm out. And as an example, what I mean is like, um, uh, there was a Star Wars game where you got to play Darth Vader. But Darth Vader, of course, doesn't run anywhere. So he walks really slow, but he can jump and because he can jump, he can move somewhere faster. So I'm watching this guy play Darth Vader and he's killing all of the, he's killing all the Chewbacca creatures. I can't remember what this is called now, but and he, it's up on a high platform, right? And he can force push people off of it and stuff like that. And uh, it's on the planet Kashyyyk. And so this character, this person playing this Let's Play is is not walking with Darth Vader. He's jumping everywhere. And I was like, 30 seconds of that, I'm done. I, I can't do that. Can't watch that. I can't watch Darth Vader jump around. Like, the only thing that's missing is the tea kettle. <laughs> I jump around. I jump around. Darth Vader, get up and get down. And it was like, no, I'm not. It's not happening. I'm not making that happen. Not watching that. We're going to need lights in here, baby, aren't we? Okay, so this is a cool thing. We got this block now. This one. Which is... Oh. Wow, aren't you pretty? You just come up here into my house all up in my business? Punk. Oh, you killed this poor goat. So anyway, over here. 
like this part. We should be able to fix this now because we have this block. So if we want to go to like this, and that's our special block piece. And let's do, let's go up here. Too far, what are you talking about? What, what kind of crack are you smoking here, buddy? Oh, I see, you wanna do this one block at a time like this. Yeah, so we can go in here like this. There we go. But anyway, it's the matching block type. You can see it right here. This is wood. Backpack full. Oh my God, okay. Let's, I'm gonna do my backpack and then we'll do a little bit more of this and then we'll end the episode. Okay, it's daytime. I took care of all my inventory items and now I want to see if I can get rid of this. Because it's wood. It's a shroud wood block. Oh, wow. How interesting. Okay, we're going to do this. We should be able to. Completely replace this then and make it look. Roughly cut stone, but make it look nice. Too far, my ass. Get in there. And there's a pretty curb. See, it's the way it's supposed to look. Oh, it's so nice. And then we can do the same thing up here. I think we may need to. We need to take bricks out there. Maybe not. Okay. We have what? What happens if we do this? We end up with that. Okay. Let's try this. We only need it to go how far? That far? Well, isn't that pretty? Nicely done. So, the first little bit of uh, repairing happening to our little home, our humble abode. We have a bunch of rubble we have to get rid of. And this wall over here, I'll have to be fixed up too. This one's a little easier to fix when you actually have the floor area for it. Although, maybe we can do it right now. Let's see, let's go back up here. You can use the bigger blocks here to get rid of more. Make it a little bit easier. Little cleaner edges there. This is what I want to get at. Okay, I think that might work. Not entirely sure what I'm going to do there. Because that is a very ugly <coughs> wall situation going on there. It's, that's quite the ugly mess. That looks better. Okay. 
Might be good enough for government work right about now. It's still this ragged edge up here that's kind of driving me nuts. There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's try to fix this then. How big is this wall going to be? Yep, so if we do that. Oh yeah, baby. I like it. Nice and shiny. That is sweet. Oh, clean lines. So we have to get this half timber wall before we can fix the rest of those. And here's the thing. If you don't sort of erase that rubbly part there, you can just place a new wall against it. But then parts of those shards will stick out. It won't it won't just replace them all. So it's better to clear off the area first from what I've seen and then get about replacing the wall. So there. Wonderful. Okay. So we got that part of it. That's cool. Oh, and we can dismantle a skeleton. Fun. Okay, folks, I'm going to leave you here. This is where we are. Enshrouded. Comfort level 19 in our home. Doing a little bit of repair work. We've got plenty to do. It's a huge game. It's massive. There's going to be many, many episodes. Probably, mm, I don't know, somewhere between 50 and 70 of them, maybe. It's going to be a lot. But it's really fun. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, release schedule for this. Just because I'm enjoying playing, playing it so much. So I just want to kind of push everything out there uh, as usual going to keep doing turn-based stuff on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, the Cyberpunk series will come to a close on Saturdays. We'll have to figure out something else for Saturdays. And I'm looking real strongly at a couple of 4X games that are not Stellaris for Saturdays. So we'll see how that works out. Wish me luck. Everybody, thanks for watching. As always, if you dig it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time. Questions and comments down below. Until then, Happy gaming, everyone.